presently I'm on my way to a place called Abu Sur to see three pyramids. Abu Sur is not far from Saqqara. Okay, we're, no, we're now off the beaten track here, uh, where very few tourists go. And on this afternoon, it's high noon, and we're on the edge of the desert. Behind me is the Pyramid of Sahura. King Sahura reigned in Egypt from approximately 2458 BC to approximately 2446 BC. Okay, we're now on the valley. Uh Temple Path. <laughs> Pillar. We are about to see the uh, the cartouche of King Sahura. There we are. This is Horus, Traun, Papyrus. This is Ibis, Cobra, Snake, Cartouche of King. This is Lion, the key, Ankh, right. By Hawk, Cobra, Snake, the right. Victoria, the Book of the Dead. This is Kalam's Garanit from Afwa. Cartouche of King Sahura. These pink granite blocks all came from Aswan, hundreds of miles to the south of here. This was once a magnificent valley temple leading up to the pyramid. This is, uh, represents papyrus on this granite block. Cartouche of the king. Chicken, block. snake, ibis, regional color. Yes, and pink granite. Piece of ruin. This used to be the roof of the temple, and as you can see, there are stars. Okay, and just over from Sahura is the pyramid of King Neferakara, who reigned from approximately 2446 BC to approximately 2426 BC. To the left of Neferakara is the pyramid of King Nusera, who ruled Egypt from approximately 2416 BC to approximately 2392 BC. Not seen here is the fourth pyramid of Abu Sur, the pyramid of King Raneferef, who reigned from approximately 2419 BC to approximately 2416 BC. Very little of his pyramid remains. We now prepare to enter the pyramid of Sahura. And there's the entrance. We're going to have to squeeze in. Hey, we had the. Uh a little short crawl on our hands and knees, but we're inside the pyramid now. It's quite dark in here. <laughs> I don't know if this is coming out. No out. flash? Uh, not with me, no. Here's the uh, flashlight. Oh my god, you can see it. Underneath there are some more rooms. Yep. I'll switch away now, and there's my guide. Shining the light on me. And could you, okay, can you show me uh, some more of them? It's dark in here. Oh, 
it's kind of dark in here. I'm just going to come out. We're going up another tunnel now. This is magazine. Many crypt of the king, although there's no crypt here at all, and I'm looking back at my guide now as he's shining the light. Uh, unfortunately, it's so dimly lit here, I won't be able to, nothing really much will come out, but I'm standing in the exact spot where the king's sarcophagus lay, and I'm looking back towards my guide. This is as far as you can go inside the pyramid of Sahura. Looking back now at the entranceway, the roof of this tunnel is very low in most of this pyramid. There are no pyramid texts or writings on the walls at all. It's just, must just fall in. I'm in the only area where, it's, where the walls are smooth and it's a very short distance, or a very short area, very little area where the walls and the ceiling are smooth. But it's just a short journey, apparently, to the king's crypt in Sahura's pyramid. As you can see, I'm on my hands and knees going to the last part of this pyramid and it's the only way you can get into it. And I'm just about to come out now. Oh, I tell you, this is a, an experience I won't soon forget. Uh, oh. Uh, well, a little dusty, but it was worth it. Uh, now, out there, about 30 minutes walking distance from here, is the Sun Temple of King Nusara. We're at the back of the pyramid. And here's a good close-up view of the Pyramid of King Neferakara. Next to it, the Pyramid of King Nusara. By the pyramids is the tomb, the mortuary temple of the vizier or prime minister, Ptah Shepsis. He was the vizier of King Sahura. Here is the entrance to the tomb of the vizier, and these columns are made of limestone. These columns are fashioned after papyrus plant stems, the entrance to this tomb is sealed. Okay, you have a good view of the... Climbed up a ladder and we can see the uh, temple now the mortuary temple where offerings would have been made in his memory by the priests to the vizier. It's magnificent. Reminds me of Kefren's mortuary valley temple. this wall, further down, we see offerings of various types of food, bread, birds, grapes, 
water, other things to eat and drink. Here on this column is a relief of the vizier himself, Ptah Shepsis. And along well, these columns, here's another one. Now I am standing by the sarcophagus of the vizier Ptah Shepsis. Here, and this, this is the one in which the Prime Minister was buried, and I'm standing in the one in which his wife was buried beside him. It's a magnificent uh, complex here. Magnificent. Now, let's see if I can get out as easy as I can get in. <laughs> what the video camera doesn't show is a gully about 30 feet deep that I have to leap up and across. The video camera made it look easier than it actually was. Here is the official entrance to the sarcophagi of the vizier and his wife. We're still at the entrance. Those are original colors, and you crawl in there to get to the sarcophagi. In front of those sarcophagi, we see the area where the vizier's family was buried. And a closer look, looking down. And another look just to my left here. And looking straight down. That's that where his family was buried, part of the complex. Scene of a butcher slaughtering an animal. Now we see the vizier's name. Pita Shepsis. Pita Shepsis. Prime Minister. Close of view. Now, it is down here, through this tunnel, that they took the sarcophagi of his family, the sarcophagi of his family, and placed it into the uh, area below that we saw earlier, through this tunnel. It's a ruined tunnel. And way off in the distance is Saqqara. And right there is the Step Pyramid of King Djoser, the first pyramid ever built. Over there, I believe, is the pyramid of King Userkaf. Userkaf was the predecessor of Sahura. Userkaf reigned from approximately 2465 BC to approximately 2458 BC. All right, we're now on our way back to the hotel from the Abu Sur pyramid complex.